I challenged my friend to a keyboard build and a budget is only $200. And yes, this is me, the real Nandicon, talking into the mic. And if you're wondering what mic this is, this is the Razer Siren mic which I've been using for the past three keyboard build videos. I've created three keyboards for the past few videos and thought to myself, why not create a new video which is a tad bit of a twist. And for those of you who want to check out the videos, I'll be leaving it on the top left of the screen. And you can also check the links down in the description box below. You may know Roku from my past few videos and this only going to be second custom keyboard build. And make sure to let me know down in the comment section box below which of the keyboard builds you think is better. And clicking that red dingling button is going to be amazing. You may wonder what are these boxes behind? After waiting for like a month or something, the boxes have finally arrived. With just a single snap, we can now discover what are inside these boxes. In the first box, we have the Lightly G80 keyboard base with a brass plate which costs around $80 and it's a killer base for its price point. This base also features Bluetooth and 2.4GHz USB wireless mode, so you can pretty much use your keyboard anywhere in your house without worrying about those dangling annoying wires. In the next box, we have the Boba U40 tactile switches and the reason for this is, well, you'll know later during the typing test. These switches came in at around $0.28 a switch. Oh, and also, these came in stock so I'll be lubing the switches with the home stabilizer lube which costs around two dollars as well. Next up we have the modding tape. I will be using the MTX painters tape which we will be putting behind the PCB of the keyboard so we can experience that deep stock. Oh, and the tape adds $2 into our budget. For the last box, we have the IFA keycaps. These keycaps are SA profiled with a black and white color combination. And these keycaps are gruelingly sold for around $39. And of course, I bought another mouse pad that will elevate the aesthetic portion of our build, which costs around $20 for the whole thing. Next up, we have Roku's keyboard build and I asked him to do the voiceover for his keyboard build, but he said no. So you'll have to stick to my voice up until the end of the video. For Roku's keyboard build, he used the Lightly G84 space as well. However, he went for a cheaper plate which is different from mine. I am not really sure what is the difference between the two but he just went with the cheaper alternative. For the switches, he will be using the Gatron White Pro switches which comes at around $0.26 a switch and he used the Crytox 105 to lube the switches which costs around $5. For some reason, he also lubed the stabilizers which I did not do for my keyboard because it came in pre-lubed and the stabilizer laser lube cost around two dollars. Lastly for his modding kit, he also bought the painter's tape which I also used in my keyboard and it's going to add up two dollars to his total. And lastly, the most important part of his build, the keycaps and he went with this off-white Exda keycaps which costs around twenty dollars, making the total of his keyboard build to a whopping one hundred and thirty one dollars in total. Wow, these numbers are completely apart from each other. For the most exciting part of the video, the typing test of the keyboard, let me know down in the comment section box below which of the two keyboards do you think sounds luckier or even better in your opinion? Just let me know down in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video and most especially my face reveal. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that blue like button and smashing that red subscribe button will be breathtaking. You're breathtaking! Once again, this is me, the real Nandigan, talking into the mic and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Yeah!